Greetings, boys and ghouls. This is Dr. Von Mad. Today we're going to be painting on a, I believe that's a 4x6 panel. Okay, real quick. Uh, got some hanging over here. Get these from Dollar Tree. 4x6 and it's a panel. I'll show you something. Because you kind of need to know this if you're going to be painting. The panel is going to be on the back of a piece of cardboard. And you can see the way the back is on this. It's kind of a wooden frame right here. Alright, well, let's get started. And that's opposed to a wooden panel, which is a whole different animal. Alright, let's see what we can paint today. As you see, I've got my paint rag over here. I've got me an assortment of acrylic paints. So let's see what we can do. Now, I've been in a real tropical mood. It's weird being so close to the Christmas holidays. Um, but I'm kind of going to move to paint something tropical. So let's see what we can do. And I, you saw last time I painted in the last video... I used a brush stroke, a quick brush stroke technique. I'm wondering if we couldn't do that again, but I'm not real sure. Now the first thing let's do is let's go ahead and lay down a background. We did a cactus last time. Let's see. We'll go in with a little bit of French blue. And that is from folk art. Uh, you get most of these paints from Walmart. Now, Dollar Tree has some good paints, oddly enough. Um, kind of doing a little bit of something here, just to not, we'll try not to use a whole lot of any one paint. So, we're going to come in with a little pinch of that right there. And we've got some turquoise -y, the turquoise. There we go. A little more turquoise than any I want, but we'll work with that. Alright, now, we need succulent, and that is one of the lightest greens you can have, but really the lightest I've got is something called Pale Jade. Let's see if I can get one of these things out. There we go. Now, grab a little bit of Mossy Meadow. And get it to come out. There we go. That was a little more than I wanted, but we'll work with it. And some palm leaf. There we go. Now, get our brush. I'm going to use this big old brush right here. We'll get it cleaned off good, because we don't want water on our canvas. Now, let's see what we can do here. So the first thing we're going to do is get this spread over the surface. Uh, you'll notice I don't go crazy with a lot of coloring on it. <laughs> Some people do, and that's that's their style. I just happen to, you'll notice I also kind of go by color gradient. The reason I do that is because I think that it, it's kind of a nice sort of fading into it. And that um, pale, that kind of a pale succulent color sort of got eaten up by the blue, didn't it? And that would be my oldest probably getting ready to have her lessons uh, gauged. So it means I'm going to pause this, let this paint dry, and get back with you in a minute. It's actually not too bad. We'll, pro we'll go with that. Sometimes it's just best to let things move. So we'll go with that, let the paint dry, and I will go check on this. Alright, be back. Okay, we're back. I had to deal with some things and um, letting this paint dry. Now, last like I said, last time I painted that, and I painted a... Even though I didn't show it this morning, people that go to my Von Mad Productions on Facebook will see it. As, well, when I finish my Facebook band. Okay, guys. Yeah, oh, and that was Kid Mad. Um, special shout out to Julia Hudson, Scott Tidwell, Alice Mott, um, and some of my other friends, uh, Michael V, you know, and all the gang. So, um, we're going to go ahead and paint. Let's see. I want it, like I said, I'm in a tropical mood. And to that end, uh, Kid Mad's got a ukulele over here. Yeah, I've been playing these lately for two years. Um, yeah. uh, and she's taking lessons for it now, so that's yeah, um, so eventually she'll figure it out. 
Just kidding. She gonna smack me with a ukulele. So if you hear a loud bone crunchy smash and a splintering of wood, you'll know what happened to me. Anyway, um, on a side note, um, this December I'm going to have a recital coming up where I'm going to be playing different songs. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. but, uh, this is going to be one, or I'm going to be playing one song, though. Mm -hmm. There's going to be other fine songs as well. I'm going to be playing the song Up on the Housetop. Um, Dad, do you know if it's written by Benjamin Hamby? That I don't know. Because it says, um, I think it says Benjamin Hanby, 1833 to 1867. Okay, well, I guess that's probably true. Anyway. It's like spam is made mostly of meat. Alright. Let's see, what can I do here? I'm trying to think of what would be good. Now, I've, everybody does palm trees, but I got an idea. Start with a little uh, cardinal red. We're not doing a cardinal, but we'll work with that. Alright. We're going to see if I can do a qui another quick brush stroke technique, but I need my chisel brush, or what I call an edger brush. I have no idea what these brushes are called because I'm not formally trained. Alright, actually before we get started with that, let's see something else we need to do. We need a, need a branch. Can't have this thing floating in midair. So, we'll go to that first. So tell me, all y'all in the that uh, are in the United States, or in some cases Canada, because uh, I know y'all have a Thanksgiving too, or whatever passes for it. Uh, so you guys looking forward to a nice big old turkey or a ham? You know, man, I, I love me some drumsticks. Mm -hmm. Definitely not a vegan here. I mean, if you are, that's your business, but I can't do that. They say vegan, and I say, well, I've got about three reasons I can't do that. And those three reasons come in three words. Chicken, fried, steak. Anyway. Alright, we'll start with that branch. i got to get some highlighting done, so we're going to go in with some... I went in with some burnt umber, which is the darkest shade of brown I have. plays good, don't she? And she's getting her practice in, so she's getting her music class in. We've been homeschooling this year. Now, getting us a little highlighter going on here. Okay. We're going to come in with this. Um, this is also not a Christmas song. I only know one, but there's some other songs that I know. My other songs are my car, so I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's the one that did Basic Faith. That was the uh, part of the, the soundtrack to a video I did a few months ago. Uh, I did a dino kind of a stencil piece with dinosaurs. With a dinosaur. Uh, is this the gloss? That's the gloss. I don't need the gloss. We need the matte finish. Speaking of matte. There's a couple of mats that I know, and a shout out to both of y'all. Hope y'all are doing well today. There's also a secret message that will appear in the first 10 seconds of this video after the animation. See if y'all can catch it. And if you can, uh, hit it up in a comment down below. Right now we're coming in with a little white because this paint's still wet so we can make that work. Hey guys, yeah. my little sister put chocolate over it, and then after step on it, so it ripped out of the tank. But it took me a minute to find it. Aren't sisters great? Um. <coughs> okay. Before you start, nothing, this has nothing to do with Christmas, but this is one of the first okay. songs that I learned. Okay, you might want to hold on that until I get um this done. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Oh. Born in with a hair dryer. Yeah. Uh. 
Uh, a kid Maddie was already, was mentioning to me the secret message, and I was just about to tell her we had already I'd already mentioned it on the video that everybody should be looking for it, but we don't want to give away but we don't want to give away the surprise. I'm not talking about that. Uh, anyway, I'll talk to you. Okay. Well, uh, this is a song that I learned. Uh, first on how to read sheet music. This has nothing to do with Christmas, however. Um, okay. It has a lot of different notes that is mm. very impressive. Hang on, we'll see if this light is... That actually helps. We'll go with that. I had too much light. The light was helping me, but it w really wasn't helping y'all, so... As you can see, I went in with the burn number just a sec. I went in with burn umber, a little regular brown, and then a little white, which mixed with that wet brown paint that put the shat to put the highlights and the shading on this branch. All right, hit it. I'm gonna go ahead and start painting on this bird. I'm gonna be painting a red macaw. <laughs> She's learning this one. Oh, I've already known. Okay, I got 17 minutes here. May have to restart at some point. Okay. Now. Okay. Now. Body's drying. Yeah, I'll find a different one. Alrighty, there's going to be some blue in this, and there's yellow, and all sorts of things. And now, I'm going to tell you, it may not be 100% accurate because I don't have a picture of a mac call right here. But I'll do the best I can with what I got where I am. And we'll see just how close it is to the real thing when I'm doing. Because it's been a while since I've seen one. I need a thin brush. Go. We've got 15 minutes left, and I may have to restart the video here. I already did one, so that's not a big. Uh, all right. Coming in with a little straight black. Careful to avoid the ladybugs, which we're having an infestation of this time of year. We always do. Guys, how about this one? Let's see if you know this one from any of y'all's childhood. How old does she think she we are? It's medieval. What I'm basically saying is if any of y'all friends say it to you, I'm not saying uh, when <laughs> you came out or anything, Dad. <laughs> I'm just saying if, if, if by any chance your parents sing it to you, wherever the heck you are in there. <laughs> you know, I always tease her about this stuff. Okay, we're going to come in and I'll do the white mask on the bird. See, I'm going in now for the beak. I remember I'm doing this blind. I do not have a one-for-one -one memory of a parrot.
so bear with me. I go in and kind of highlight the toes, and I may have just gotten a little too much black. I may have to overdo that one. I may have just given him way too much white on his toes. All right, let's go on and do this. First thing we got to do, the body's dry, so now we're going to come in with a little fruit punch. Yes, we're going to pour fruit punch all over this parrot. We know what sound he's going to make, too. Ah, ah, ah! Polly's sticky! Polly's sticky! Okay. And that's still in this. We won't speak of that again. Well, she probably will later. Because there are no bones in ice cream. You know, she keeps telling me something about candy bones, and I'm like... Don't get too crazy. Yeah, well. Okay. Other than the songs I made up. Okay. Let's see if you know this one. Let's see here. I'll come back in on that toe. I don't like the way those toes look. back over these toes. I don't like them. Maybe actually go over down part over part of those legs with the thing, because I think my bird's got bird legs, and it was a parrot. That's not a good thing. All right. Let me wash my brush off. What jump? No, that was my ukulele hitting the corner. Well, I wouldn't do that. Anyway. I'm going to have to go back. I'm going to shorten his legs a little bit because this this bird has bird legs and with a parrot that's not a good thing. Yeah, um, he looks a little underfed. You can realize what this song is. If you've watched our channel for a little while, you should know what it is. Okay? Alright. Nope. Ten minutes remaining. If you watch our video for a long time, though, you should know. Yeah. Paradise Pink is coming up. I'm about to go in and I'll be dealing with some of these feathers so it doesn't go on really a whole matter a whole lot. It's interesting. I learned the other day that parrots were actually a member, of, were actually real, fairly closely related to falcons and eagles. That kind of blew my mind. I mean, both are large birds, so I guess that makes some sense. Now, 
We need some blue. So I'll have to let that dry a minute. And I'll work on this. I'm going to work on trying to get an eye put on this thing. Now, the eye on a parrot should be light blue. So we're going with a light blue. And hopefully this, the paint won't still be wet. So There we go. Let's see if that looks like well. Trying to see if you can see it. Unfortunately, I, like I said, I'm doing it freehand with no model to work from. Right now, I just think it looks like a it looks like somebody was that like a I don't know a uh, common vulture got grabbed through a paintball factory. Um, <laughs> but we'll see what we can do. Like I said, just I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to do this bird freehand, and I don't have an artist minutes. model. Yep, and I'm gonna have to come back up and get that now. All right, we're going to try to get some blue in here because I know that they got some blue trim on the feathers. And we're going to come. And I'm hoping it don't intermingle with that red and make the weirdest shade of purple you've ever seen. This will be a <laughs> mutant parrot. You'd think it was taking one of Fauci's vaccines. Now we'll see if we can get some yellow. We need some yellow, and I gotta get, I gotta see if I've got some gray in here. Okay, we're gonna bring some yellow. Like I said, I'm painting this bird freehand. I don't have an artist model handy, so that's gonna make things a little bit on the tricky side. Now normally I'd be doing Christmas themed. I don't know, just kind of. Sometimes there's just well, guys just gotta paint a parrot. That is what we're doing. We'll see just how close I got. So, before anybody tells me, hey, that's not the right pattern for a red macaw. Well, remember, I didn't work with an artist model. I've painted a few red macaws, but I don't, I didn't memorize the pattern. It's odd because I'd recognize it if I seen it, but, uh, I would not be able to tell you just intricate details. So, if I've gotten it off, well, do forgive me, I'm human. Let's see where we're at. We've got five minutes left. Alright, we're going to come in with a little bit of black. No, I got a turkey. I got a turkey leg in the oven, but. Yeah, well. Oh, no. yeah, I just took it out of the oven. Oh, yeah, better get it out of the oven. I forgot we had it in there. Alright. Let me kind of just. Do you want it? Yeah, I'll get it in a minute. Yeah. Well, I don't think that'll be an issue. Anyway. <clears throat> Right now, what we're doing is I'm trying to shade in this bird's beak. I don't want it being quite so obvious, but now I'm going to have to white over part of this. At least I'm going to have to let this beak, the, bar the eye, dry on it because my the bird's got this derpy look on his face right now. I hit it just a little bit on that white yellow to kind of brighten it just a hair. Now we're gonna come over here. I'll see if I can find myself a lighter shade of blue in my box. <coughs> see what we got here. There it is, cottage white. 
Now this is a strange color because it says it's cottage white, but it's really about the darkest shade or about the lightest shade of blue. It's a weird thing. Man, I smell that smoked turkey. It was already smoked when I got it. I just was reheating it. And I wanted to kind of, I was eating on it and I thought it was maybe a little too tough so I put it back in for a little bit. You know, turkeys, they use their legs a lot so they're really kind of a tough meat. A bit chewy if you don't get them tenderized properly. But it's, eating a turkey leg is well worth the time and the trouble. Trying to get this eye to where I want it. Right now, that eye is looking a little bit on the derpy side. But I mean, it's not perfect. Like I said, I'm just kind of a, wanting to see what I could do just out of memory. There we go. Now, we'll go ahead and sign it. Like I said, it ain't perfect. But, I wanted to see how well I could do doing a parrot, a red macaw from memory. And, also trying my best to see if I could do something akin to a brush stroke, you know, to the brush stroke thing with it. Now let's see here, we'll get our easel over here, we'll put a matte finish on it, clear coat on it, let's see what we got. Got the colors right, I just don't know if I got the colors in the right uh, shading, let's see. So there it is guys. Yeah, I know I turned it sideways. It's a little harder, just a little easier to see, maybe. But I'll bring it up so I won't be able to get a good focus on it. But we'll try. Anyways, if you like this video and you find that secret message, uh, hit it. Uh, give this, give us a like, a comment, and subscribe, and I will catch y'all on the flip side. Thanks for watching, and God bless.